Hollywood's It Girls, who's played all kinds of roles, from a plastic ditzy blonde in a Ray Gott 2004 film, Mean Girls, to a more recent turn as legal counsel for Talking Teddy Bear in the hilarious comedy <laughs> Ted 2. In her newest movie, Fathers and Daughters, Amanda Seyfried stars opposite Russell Crowe and Aaron Paul as a woman working through her past in order to move forward. We have this exclusive clip. So are you uh, babbling about? No, it's uh, Jake Davis. Um, he wrote my favorite book of all time, Fathers and Daughters. Wow, it's a popular book. Yeah, uh, I know. It's just been with me ever since I was, um, I was a little kid. It uh, literally changed my life. So, hi, uh, I'm my name's Cameron. Uh, I'm Katie. Katie. Yes. As in Kate Davis. <laughs> Amanda Seifert is with us. Good morning. Good to morning. see you. Good to see you. Okay, so this is very different from some of the movies we just lined up that yeah. we fell in love with you uh, and the characters. This is a heavy emotional journey. Oh, it's such a drama yeah. fest. How yeah. How was that for you? It's great. I mean, like, to get, like, dark is really interesting. I'm, like, playing a character who's, like, kind of emotionally unstable, and it's great. That's I mean, an interesting really, way to describe that. It's great because, you know, I mean, as an actor, I have, like, a lot of empathy for, like, I hopefully have a lot of empathy for, for people and, like, to play different people yeah. play with different experiences like that. It's just really, it's amazing. And you play uh, the daughter of Russell Crowe yeah. in this film and also the lover of Aaron Paul. You yeah. worked with again. both of them in the past. I know. Exactly. So I know. how was that? Was it sort of like a reunion it working was, together again? It's like, he's like, it's like almost like he's an ex-boyfriend, but he's not. <laughs> I mean, we've never actually been romantic. But, I, like, intim intimately, I know him in a way, so it's, it was really weird, but it was great, because, like, we're very yeah. familiar with each other. And you get to work with Shirley MacLaine, one of your yeah. idols. Oh, God. I'm mean, like, uh -huh. people ask, like, who would you want to work with? I'm like, Shirley MacLaine, and I got to do it. This yeah. year, it was like it was. This movie's not going to come out till next year. What but is it's, that? It's movie? called The Last Word. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I, I mean, I should be talking about fathers and daughters, but The yes. Last Word is another like I mean, really that's a great gem for me. Now, what about working with Al Roker? Where would that compare? Because I understand of all the jobs that you've wanted, might have been something with him. Yeah, I feel like I, I got to do it last year. I got to do yeah. the weather. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that was a really big thing for me. And I, you know, I, I think it kind of changed my life in a way. Oh, it changed I'm, your I'm, life. I've not been the same. You were really rethinking your acting career and going yeah. into meteorology? I mean, I, was al I always wanted to be a meteorologist, <laughs> yeah. so it kind of, you know, things come full circle when you really want them. And you wanted you want it. it bad enough. And it's not yeah. too late. <laughs> I know. I can do anything I put my mind to, guys. Did you learn your geography, the state capitals, and all of that to prepare for, for that uh, role? No, I don't, I don't even know how many states are. <laughs> So, just kidding. So you're ready to wing it, though. What, what do you believe? Yeah. What, what natural skill set do you believe you have to take this this slot? Mm. She's cuter than Al. Oh. Yeah, she's that. Oh, yeah. That's, well, that goes without saying. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I I um I could um I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of um uh, charisma, maybe. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Come back to this role. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> how, how close are you to your, your own parents? And it was and being in this role something that just made you um, I'm, go back to that? I'm really close with my parents. Yeah. I'm really close with my... I have a very different relationships with both my... Like, separate relationships with my mother and my father. Um, I don't know. I just... I, I feel like there's a there's a bond between a, a mm -hmm. father and daughter that, like, it's it's very different from with, with my mother. And I feel like... I don't know. I just... Um, it just it made me feel closer to him oh, in a, in a cool. weird way, and uh, it's important. It's that's why I love I love the script. I love the movie, and I'm, mm -hmm. yeah, everybody probably, relates to it. Probably <laughs> seeing reading the script and the relationship yeah. with your dad, your movie dad, makes yeah. you appreciate so much more. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, so yeah. much. Yeah. I mean, because I have my dad. Yes. Yeah. You know, and so many people don't have what their parents. Blessing. What a blessing! Yeah. Yeah. I know, and he's young, ah. ish. That's good. Yeah. 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 Well, he's probably that younger that than me, so that's, I don't know. I think so. I think so. Oh, I can't wait to see it. it. Just watching the uh, the little clip that I got to see the preview. It's it, a tearjerker. It's a tearjerker. It's gonna, tear it's gonna, for sure. it's gonna make you weep. But oh, hey. beautiful though. Yeah. Fathers and daughters. Hits the airs July 8th. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.